Thank God. Low speed stall fight with a Yak 3? What am I doing? I mean, it worked, but holy crap. That's not good. What's up, guys? Haven here. I thought I would do a little uh, sort of live gameplay and a bit of a rant. So, this is going to be a P51C video and also a bit of a rant about the current state of uh, US teams. So I'm going to be using the universal belt. I'm going to be using 400 meters uh, convergence, min fuel, and no vertical tar targeting. I've never used vertical targeting, so I don't, I'm not going to start with it now. I use the universal because it has the most incendiary rounds in it. Every single round in that belt is an incendiary, so a chance to set lots of fires. So one of the first things I want to say about US teams at this battle rating is that they suck and you if you're playing at this battle rating especially if you're new you should not feel bad if you get trounced uh, if you want to do well at this battle rating you're gonna need some people on your team that are gonna carry you're gonna need some people on your team that are good if you yourself are not good at least you're watching this video and you're trying to get better but there are people in this battle rating range, which is around US 4.0, that are terrible and they're not looking to get any better and they're not going to get any better. And that's just the reality of it. And you should just be prepared to lose a lot. And I say this as someone who's been playing for three years and who loves playing American props, specifically at this battle rating range. And you can look at my win rates here. They are, they are not spectacular, right? The ones I've played a lot are not great now some of these I've played when I was worse when I was not as good but some of these I've played more recently and I still can't really you know it's it's just you're gonna lose a lot just be prepared for that okay it's it's not your fault you can have a really solid kill death ratio here P, p38l right here almost two to one ratio still losing still one of my more worst win ratios Right, so just just know that. Uh, be aware of it. Let yourself off the hook. It's it's not your fault. All right. Pretend like you're watching that whole scene from, uh, you know, uh, Goodwill Hunting. Right. It's it's not your fault. It's not your fault. Don't f with me. All right. Don't f with me, Sean. Not you. It's not your fault. If the matchup is not good, don't play it. Right now, Bearcats all been pulling everybody up it's it's really frustrating i've been wanting to play a 4-3 nothing but four seven games i want to play a 4-0 nothing but four seven games this is my second full up tier in a row so just be aware of that don't feel like you have to play your tip top plane play what is working well for you at the time because you will get more rp and actually progress faster another thing p51s just go ahead and Figure out manual engine control, and you can pretty much lock your prop pitch at 100 and your radiators all the way open, and you can just wet the entire game with very little extra drag. Um, this is not according to me. This is according to people that have figured it out. So figure out manual engine control for the P-51. It's set it and forget it. It's brain dead, and it lets you wet the whole game. For me, when I fly P-51s, I do not take off directly out on the runway. I don't go straight out from the runway. People talk about side climbing. They'll go like way over here. That's that's a bit excessive. This is not like 2018, 2017. Side climbing these days is like heading to the side of the battle and then angling in. Or, you know, but if you're way out here, if you're like this guy, that that's pr you probably by the time you get to the battlefield, Everything is going to be over. So you need to kind of keep it at a 15 degree angle. And don't stall climb. Don't climb at like less than what I would say 150 indicated, or excuse me, 250 indicated kilometers an hour. For P51s in particular, I like to keep it around 260 or more, especially if you're going to side climb. You're going to let the main contingent be over here. And then the people that are really able to climb are going to be above your American team. Your American teams are just, they're not going to climb. Just accept that. Because your American team is not going to climb, 
what you would essentially do, and this has kind of my, been my strategy lately, is just use them for bait. If you don't climb, your well-being is none of my concern. I will be working with these guys in the game. I'll be working with this guy. I'll be working with everybody at altitude. If you're struggling and you say, cover me and you're down here, uh, you know, too bad. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to throw away my game because you didn't want to turn and gain some altitude. This is this is prop combat. You need altitude, especially U.S. props. Now, I'll, I I get it. It's very boring to climb, and most of the U.S. props of this BR don't want to climb. But if you're not going to at least pitch up 15 degrees, your well-being again is not my problem. I'm going to work with the Bearcat. I'm going to work with the this P51, this 109, this Bearcat, right? Because these are likely to be the better players anyways. These are likely to be the worst players. Don't worry about them. Use them as bait. You know, rant off there, right? Or if you're a guy that goes and chases bombers. That's not, I don't need to get involved in that. I'll deal with the bombers at the end of the match. I don't need to throw away my match. Now, this is really interesting because, yeah, I don't need to throw away my match because a bomber is near me. I'm worried about the fighters. Like, I was probably running gun pods, too. Nope. It's impressive how he got it to blow up. All right, so here we go. So now we are not quite over the top of them. But again, I don't care about these guys yet. That's not my problem. These guys are my problem. These are the guys that also climb. They are probably the better players themselves. So now I need to work with my team up here to kill these guys up here. These guys, later. Don't worry about them. So I got a 109 ahead of me and a zero behind him. We're going to try and help out my 109. Hopefully he doesn't see me. That's it. All right, he sees me. I right, got some good hits and got him finally. So now I don't want to turn around immediately. I got uh, people barreling in on me. I'm going to keep my speed. I'm going to exit the area. All right, use the P-51 strength, which is inline speed. It's not climb speed. It's slight dive speed. I'm going to be pushing 500 pretty soon. He's not going to be able to catch me. Most players are not that patient. They will not chase you. If they do chase you, all right, take them across the map. You be the patient one, especially in the P-51. There you go. They both pulled off. All right. So now I'm going to turn around. I don't want to just hammer it the whole way. Now I got a P-51D, that guy that side climbed. See, he's now finally getting into the match. And now, who's got aerial superiority? Who's up here? We are. This is where you want to be in the match. This is an ideal situation for a U.S. team. I'm going to barrel in on this uh, zero, and the P-51D has the same idea. We want him out of the match. He's the highest guy here. We're going to catch him because we're in P-51s. And I frankly just take full commit head-ons against zeros. I don't see any reason not to. That P-51D is probably going to get there before me. He's a little faster in line. The getting closer to victory. But between the two of us, we'll probably get him. And that gets a very dangerous opponent out of the match. And then we can fall on these guys later. Yep, all right, there's his maneuvering. So if he's going to dive out, I'm going to I'm not going to follow. We'll keep my speed up. This guy's wounded. He's got the same idea. This guy, we have similar attitudes probably because he's a All right, so what I'm going to yeah, he sees the key 5442. Again, I'm okay. This is methodical. We are methodical. We're not trying to get just jump on the first thing we can get. I'm going to watch him make a boom and zoom. He did not pull it off. Let's see what this guy does. I'm going to pull over. See if he's focused on that P-51D. Does he look up and see me? Looks like he might be too slow. My rudder's hanging up though. Alright, got severe damage and a fire. See? And now we go back up. They're going to be chasing us. Again, we're in a great spot, right? We got allies up here, and most of them are going to be running out of fuel. 
like the Spitfire probably didn't take very much. Low on ammo, something like that. Damaged with their fight. So now we got them where we need them. It's boom and zoom time, guys. They are slow. We can catch them. I got P P63. Let's see if he wants to come up here. Alright, looks like my P51D. I'm not going to get greedy. Let him make the boom and zoom first. It's almost sometimes better to be the second guy attacking and not the first. More likely that they've spent their energy on maneuvering. Alright, here we go. I shouldn't have turned that direction. Here we go. Got some hits and a fire. And we're out. He can't catch me. I'm going 600. Let him burn up. We're going to turn it back into, into altitude. Seven. All right. I got a, I almost let that guy catch me. But I'm a kilometer away. That guy's burning. <coughs> I got to watch this 190. Yep. We're going to dodge. He's got good nose authority. But he doesn't. Oh, shit. I'm bad. I'm in a bad spot. Yeah. Bam. Good job for you. So. Oh, you hit me. <laughs> but still, you get the point. I got three kills. Had I not let that 190 catch me, I probably could have had an even better game. I don't know where my this guy got away from me. But yeah, that's a uh, that's a better game than most than 90 percent of the U.S. players, right? God. Low speed stall fight with a Yak 3? What am I doing? I mean, it worked, but holy crap. That's not good. He, his problem was that he literally could not slow down enough to make me overshoot. Maybe a chance at the spit. The enemy is getting closer to victory. Let's see which way he chooses to go. Got a good hit. It is a Mark 9. I really don't want to mess with that in a turn fight. We're just gonna. Let them burn energy in line. They don't hold energy straight very well. I do. I'm taking some long range pot shots. I encourage it. XP 50, come on, make your move. They don't hold speed in line. Here comes XP 50. XP 50's in, so now I'm back in. Let's do it. More shots on him again. 
he's choosing to disengage this time. I'm going back up. I think it is time to maybe get down there and start gauging them. Seems like we've got air superiority. So now it's time to start booming and zooming them. Tired of being in this cloud, I can tell you that. Got air cover. All right, here we go. We do have uh, some friends up high, but I'm catching this guy actually. So, I don't really know what he's hoping to do. Maybe he'll come up. That would be cool. Yeah, come on up. Now you're slow. I might have overplayed it. Come on, XP, get in here. Keep my energy up. Definitely th thinks he's split apart now. I'm committing this time. Good hit. That's more good hits. I'm just going to go straight. Good shot. It was good. That was a really good fight, actually. Really good energy fight. You know, he tried to bait me down. Got to actually have kind of a one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't fall for the energy trap.